We are going to tour India's number one research university, IIC Bangalore. And I'm going to show you the life on campus at IIC. From the Royal Palace like main building, the most luxurious hostel room, high quality luxurious restaurants, everyday non veg providing mess, and much more. And I'm going to show all it to you. Starting with the most luxurious college hostel rooms in India. Look at this. What I can say? Unlike any other hostels in India, I visited IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, and lived in IIT Madras. But hands down, no disputes. It's like the best hostel I have ever seen in IITs and IAS is the best. What's the hostel name? Uh, new Boys Hostel. The boys hostel name is the New Boys Hostel. Yeah, new boys hostel right? Oh, very simple to understand. <laughs> Can you name what are the facilities you have in this room? First of all, the room is so spacious. You have one bed, one table, one cupboard. The speciality is it has a balcony. Basically, you are living a very luxurious life only. Yeah, kind of, you can say. And how about the internet speed? Yes, they have Wi-Fi and internet speed is around 100 Mbps. And they have a router in front of every two rooms. And you will never believe one thing. Can you able to guess the hostel fees per month? Around, yeah, well, close to 1000 What? And the best part is you can go to Motamadi. Where are you? Terrace. Hostel Terrace. Whole campus. Like it's above the canopy of all the trees. Oh, uh, so we can see the entire campus. Okay, so if you come through the terrace, if you go see that, that is the main building. And to make it to the next level, now they are building another new hostel. Now we have seen the hostels. The later parts of the video, we will look into the royal building of IIC Bangalore and the luxurious restaurants at IIC. Before we check out other best places, you need to know more about IIC. Did you know 2022 JW Advanced Upper rejected IIT Bombay and joined IIC Bangalore? Why? So let me tell you a story of IIC. They say everything is created twice once in mind and then in reality. Like that IIC was first built by Jay and Tata in his mind. Jay and Tata is actually the grandfather of Ratan Tata. He had a dream of creating a world class research institute for science in India. So one day while on a journey from Tokyo to Chicago on a ship where Jay and Tata accidentally met Swami Vivekananda. They exchanged ideas. Jay and Tata was deeply impressed by Swami Vivekananda's views on science and his leadership abilities. Five years after their meeting on the ship, Jay and Tata wrote a letter to Swami Vivekananda seeking his assistance in building the research institute. Swami Vivekananda was super happy and he agreed to help. Also, Jay and Tata seeks the support of the king of Mysore. Krishna Raja Vadiyar generously donated 5 lakh rupees and land for the construction of IISC. With the institute's constitution approved by the British government, an official order was issued to commence its operation on May 27, 1909. That's how IISC was born. And it was locally called as Tata Institute. Over the years, IIC has built a reputation as the best research institute in India and world. J Advanced 2022 topper RK Sizzler rejected IIT Bombay because he says he is not interested in corporate world, entrepreneurship and primarily interested in research. It is now ranked number one in the NIRF ranking for universities and 155th rank in the world QS ranking and has notably best alumni including S. Somnath, Sudha Murthy and K. Sivan, including several GATE AR1s and JWA AR1s. Today, if you ask any GATE aspirants where they would like to pursue their masters, their first choice will likely be ISC over IIT Bombay, IIT Madras or IIT Delhi. Now the next thing is something we all been waiting for, the Royal Main Building. Before checking out the Royal Building of IIS, talking of GATE AR1, if you are someone who is also looking to join masters in IIS, GATE exam is the way. And if you are looking to prepare for GATE exam, GATE Bala is providing quality courses and affordable price, batch details, Parakram 2025 chemical, 9999, Parakram 2025 batch B data science and 6600 rupees, Parakram 20 25 CS and D 9999 rupees. Sreshith Gate plus PSC plus placement provision 2025 batch 13999. Sreshith Gate plus PSC plus placement provision 2020 batch D 17999. Parakram Gate 2025 batch D 6600 rupees. Vijay Gate 2025 rank improvement and droppers batch 4999. Parakram 2025 ESC plus Gate plus PSC batch C 13999. Sreshith ESC plus Gate plus PSC 2026 batch 17999. Also, PW is giving Gate Kazana with 2025 and 2026 batches at 11 rupees, in which you will get recorded lectures by India's best faculties and DPP solutions in bilingual. Also, PW is providing topic-based previous year questions for all subjects with complete solutions to help you ace your exam. And the best part is it has embedded QR codes for video solution. Guess what? You can use my code RAGU500 for 500 rupees on all codes. Now let's explore the Royal Building. When I see this, I was like, wow, what is that? It was exactly like an old royal palace where kings live. Inside it, if you go, you will feel that definitely you are not in an academic building. Rather, you feel you are going to a royal palace. If you 
enter it on the right side of it there will be a director office and if you go up there will be a reception hall that's big and royal and by the time when i went there there was a workshop was going on so why not just check the features of it and in the top floor you can come up to the balcony and you can check the statue it was actually made by a great english sculptor gilbert base to remain the future generations of generosity and persistence of j and tata then opposite to the reception hall is where the workshop was happening so i was like i just entered to see how it actually feels hands down no disputes for a moment i feel i was studying in a royal institute so good Now it's time to explore the food places. I I I. Let's go. Unlike any other restaurants in IIT, is this restaurant in IIT is quite different because here you are treated as guest, not as a student. This music like you have to order the food or? Okay, so waiter will come. Yeah, you heard it right. Here the food will be served. This I haven't seen in IIT Madras, IIT Bombay also. Meantime, a waiter had come and I have ordered the dosa. Few minutes of the order, I received the dosa. It's fucking good. Then I feel so royal, so I ordered a sprite and drank it. This video is actually not sponsored by Sprite. And finally, the bill came. Basically, here you get Chinese and Indian food. Chinese and Indian food. Now it's time to move on to the next restaurant, Kabini Canteen. It is on the affordable side where you can get all varieties of food. When I interact with students, I came to know that most of the students prefer to have lunch, dinner here, as it is qualitative and affordable. <laughs> And finally, there is one stop solution where you can get everything from north food, south food, bakery, and so on. So it is called Servum Complex. Here you can get everything in one place. We often find the worth of our mom's food when we eat a piece of hostel food. <laughs> it's the same at IAC also. <laughs> Problem is. Most of the hostels we have been to, it will be veg or they claim the mess is non-veg but only two times a week they provide non-veg. Unfair actually, it actually happened to me in IIT Madras also. Is it like uh, non-veg means how many times a week they will put non-veg? We get no, non-veg both during lunch and dinner. Every day? Every day. Yeah. Every day? If I consider lunch and dinner, it's like 14 meals a week. Seven meals we get eggs and five days we get chicken. Two times a week we get uh, fish. Twice a month we get uh, mutton. But how is the food by the way Raghu? Before that, let's find out how many messes and what kind of food they are providing. Mess A, Mess B, C, D and E. Mess A is uh, South Indian veg mess. Okay. B is North Indian non-veg. Okay. C mess is South Indian non-veg. D and E both are not North Indian veg messes. These messes are for both boys and girls. And by the way, if you ask me how is the food, I would say the food is decent and always appreciate your mom's food. Next thing is when I visited IASC, I was in deeply regret because of this. Why? Now see, when we study in premier institutes, there will be insane amount of competition, peer pressure, workload, no proper gender ratio. Despite of all this, there is something that makes us feel alive. That's art and entertainment. And IIC is no more less than IITs in conducting the cultural first. Here it's called Pravega and it's different and more compared to IITs. Just the day I visited IAC, Pravega happened and this time Moi Chavan, Ashita Gil, Farhan Akhtar came. <laughs> oh. 
Also, Praveka is different from cultural fest of IITs because it's not just a cultural event, it's also a tech fest. In Bombay, the tech fest is called tech fest. Cultural fest is called Mood Indigo. In IIT Madras, the tech fest is called Shastra and cultural fest is called Saurang. So when things go wrong, choose Art and Entertainment and IAC. It's a lifesaver. <laughs>